my Hotel. shit I keep a bad bitch that I can vibe with Take trips and do a whole lot of fly shit She said her ex was boring and my life lit She ain't never seen a nigga do it like this Vice grips on the game, I put the clamp down Fly sneak in this bitch, hands down Like a campground, I'ma hold my camp down Thugger news, the news you choose to use for the views Cause we be coming through with the truth What it do, what it does, what it is, what it was We be coming down here, yeah we all buzz Smoking on the buds You know what I'm saying, man Yeah, another day man You know what I do, daily progress man Daily progress, man. It's just a, da a, a daily thing. Oh, and now I got the uh, political people mad. Y'all know why I posted that, kid. Trump ain't say nothing about it. everybody smoke. Bitches, we are in a Republican state, and it ain't legal. It's legal in Cali. It's legal down there everywhere but Texas. And y'all want me to vote for Trump when weed is legal everywhere but Texas? And the lady is saying we gonna... She hey, man. That alone. Yeah, that might give me a change of heart. That alone. <laughs> that one thing. I don't know nothing about no policies, none of that. That one thing alone, you know I smoke every day. So you know that's a good reason for me to vote. So. I don't care if you mad, I don't care if you sad, I don't care about none of the other conspiracy theories you come up with stuff with. You know I smoke, and I live in a Republican state, and we can't smoke. So I'm going to vote for whoever say we can smoke, because I don't care about politics. I just care about smoking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So she warned me right there with that, man. I'm not worried about no borders. I ain't worried about none of that other shit. All I'm worried about is smoking. And whoever say we can smoke, I'm gonna vote for them. And that's it. And to the white people out here, let's be very clear. How many presidents has it been? 46, 45? It's been about 46, 45, 47 motherfucking presidents, right? It's only been three options to vote for a black one. Only three times we could vote for a black president in the history of America. <laughs> Obama twice, Kamala now. If you think, white folks, that I'm so brainwashed that I didn't fail for all this conspiracy theories and stuff y'all saying on the ground, if you think I'm gonna put somebody else race before mine, and we only get three times to vote for a black person? You think out of them three times I'm not going to vote for the black person? I know a lot of these other dudes <laughs> lost and whatever they talking oh, about. Why you got your glasses like End that? of the day, kid. <laughs> Big Slim is day one with it, kid. And I want to say proudly. And all these people saying she not black. Anybody who sleep with got any black in them is black. And that's what the white folks said. That was their thing. That's why we the most dominant race, too. I'm going to piss about somebody. Because <laughs> if I have sex with anybody in any race, the baby is black if we have a child. But not only that, though, with no hate, man. I want everybody to, for real, like, I'm trolling now, for real. But I want everybody to vote for whoever y'all want to vote for. I'm going to tell you, though, straight up, I want to be publicly, I want it to be publicly known. I'm not no Democrat. I'm not no uh, Republican. But I will not vote for a white dude over a black woman. I want to be clear about it. I'm only voting for the black woman because she black. I'm staying down with my race, and I want everybody to understand that. I want it to go on record. When, while everybody else talking about they vote for somebody else, God bless you. Do whatever you want to do. And all the Trump supporters, vote. If you win, I'm going to clap for you. But at the end of the day, I want all the people in the world to know Big Slim is voting for the black woman because she's black. And she got a white husband, so I'm not racist. But as a black man, I'm voting for the black woman. She went to Howard. She a AKA. I'd rather vote. Or not even if she ain't. 
Okay, she not even black. Look at Kobe. She not even black. Okay, Kobe. Okay. Well, outside of that, secondly after that, all right? Secondly, I, this is the wildest statement, Slim. Yeah, be clear. Once again, I said it before. If you think that's crazy, think about what I just said to you. White people have had an option to vote for a white president since the beginning of time. Black people have the option to vote for a black president three times in the history of America. If you think I'm that no common sense to not take advantage of this opportunity, that's on you, kid. And I don't care who mad at that. I don't care who don't like me because I say that. I don't give a damn. And you vote for whoever you want to vote for. And God bless you. You know what I'm saying? I said I was leaving politics alone, steak and shrimp, but I got to let these people know. Even if she ain't black, all right, everybody, she ain't black. She ain't, even if she ain't black, let me, I'm going to keep going for y'all. Even if she ain't black. Let's just, that's, they, it's, that's how, that, after you say that, she when, a you, black daddy or black mama? when you look at this black woman and say she not black, I already don't want to talk to you no more, kind yeah. of in your life. I'm like, that's you just, now short you're just to be difficult. You short bus kid. You're like, I don't even want to talk to you no more after you look at a black woman and say she not black. All right, kid. When did uh, anybody could sleep with a black person and not be black, but except now when it's a president? Okay, but any, if you, that's what you want to go they with, said cool. Obama wasn't black. But if that's exactly if that's what you want to go with, cool, go with that. Okay. So after that, even if she in there, let's say she in there and sleep with Pitts, she's Indian. Even if she Indian, I'm still gonna vote for the woman. How many opportunities have we had to have a woman president? We haven't had that many. I think Hillary and her. I'm still going to vote for the woman just because she's a woman. I'm going to vote for the woman. I'd rather vote for the woman than the orange man. I don't know what he did to make y'all so happy. I don't know what that 1200 did to change our life. I'm not voting for the orange man. I personally just don't. Uh, he ain't said he was legalizing weed or nothing. I ain't heard nothing he said. All he said was, hey, I'm giving the police free range to do whatever they want to do. That sounds like a problem for us. You know what I'm saying? That sounds like a problem for us more than anybody. He ain't said nothing today about, hey, man, we going to give y'all legalized weed and nothing like that. Hey, I see y'all rolling. Much love. See, I know everybody. Bike gang, everybody know me. Real, real Houstonian, right? I have heard nothing. I, I, I want the show to be over. I want the reality show to be over. Kamala is a real politician. If it was a real politician on the Republican side, I still wouldn't go against black people. I'm just keeping it real. I sound crazy. I don't care what you think I sound like, kid. Listen to what I'm telling you. I, if it was a real politician, not a reality star who, star who was uh, inherited a bunch of money and still went bankrupt, if it was somebody who had some a billionaire who really brought the came up from nothing somebody had anything that said something that made sense to me maybe i would give it a chance not really because i'm really just gonna vote for the woman because she black but anyway if you just want to just stop that go educate yourself boy sound dumb as fuck i got i'm on my 13th rolls royce kid i don't give a damn if you think i'm dumb where is you at what how many rolls royces you had <laughs> tell me how many you had i don't give a damn which president it is if Trump win, I'm going to save on taxes. If the, wo if the woman win, I'm going to be seeing a black president, black woman president in my lifetime. I can't lose. How about you? That's why you so in your feelings about it. All I care about is being able to smoke. That's the only thing I care about. That's how straight I am, fool. Talking about go educate yourself. You got to go to school. I didn't have to go to school to get rich. You understand me? I'm retired. Everything paid off. Exactly, and it's black owned. I don't work for none of you motherfuckers. You see what I'm saying? I own all my shit. I, you're so lost. I got, I'm on my 13 Rolls Royce. Oh, my lost. Where we going? Where we going? Go look on my story right now. Why am I lost? You lost. Wake up, slow motherfucker. I'm figuring it out. I'm figuring it out. I don't need, I don't care who the president is. I'm going to be good regardless. I don't work for none of y'all, none of that. 
Boss life. You can't play with me like that. Like I say, I love white people. I'm my, some of my best people. I kick my boy Todd till 3 a.m. every day. And me and my boy Todd, you know my boy Todd, he white. He he ain't down with Kamala. He vote for Trump. You know what I'm saying? We was listening to the Kamala interview. I say, let's just listen. I say, well, shit, where the Trump interview? Let me listen to what he got to say about what he going to do. I ain't heard nothing from him that I, I, you know, I look at him like a reality star. I don't look at him like a president. Now, I, if it was a Republican dude, looked like he was a politician, did pol political work for real, I would probably say, okay, I give him a chance. But no, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? But at, once again, I'm telling you as a black man, I'm going to give the black woman a chance. And I want the black women to see me publicly. I don't work for nobody. I'm not a Democrat. I'm not, don't even put me in a group with none of y'all political gangbangers. I ain't getting no check for this. I be seeing other people look like they get paid. And some people do get paid to say this type of shit. We just on thugger news right now, right? And I'm just keeping it real with y'all. I want y'all to know who, how I feel and why I feel like I feel. Outside of me, you do what you want to do. If you black and you want to vote for Trump, go ahead. God bless you. Whoever, this is what voting should be real life. And this is what the problem is, like a lot of times. Y'all, if you don't like me because of who I vote for, and you saying I'm crazy, that's crazy. Never am I telling a Trump supporter, hey, man, I hate you. I'm unfollowing you. I don't like you. Vote for whoever you think will be better for you as an American. You should vote for whoever you feel like you should vote for. I'm not going to not be your friend, be, say nothing about you, do not, whatever. Do whatever you want to do, buddy. Like, But if you want to fight, you all mad, you got, you too lost in the South, kid. You too lost in the South. Vote for whoever you think will help your family, man. And whoever win. I'm a cheerful man. Okay, they got it. Y'all got it. You got it. I'm going to tell my boy Todd, your boy got it, man. Yeah, you got it. We going to see what happened. And that's it. And that's how we going to say, kid. That's how. And we going to keep smoking. If I can't, if you don't want to smoke weed with me because of who I vote for, you are on the short bus. You have to understand this. You are in a political gang. It's red and blue, just like Crips and Blood. You too lost. We ain't, I ain't that, it ain't, I don't even care. She not even black, bro. Okay, even if she ain't black, I just told you, I'd rather give a woman a chance than give the guy Trump. He ain't said nothing I like, bro. If he would've came out first and said, you know what, I'm legalizing weed, we gonna get a hood this, and you know, saying some shit I agree with, I would've said, okay, Trump talking some shit. I was, let me tell y'all something else, you Trump supporters. Back when it wasn't cool to vote for Trump and Ice Cube sat down with Trump and, and Kanye sat down with Trump, I wasn't against that. I said, okay, let's see. Let's see what he's talking about. He might say something that we can, you know, come up with. You know, and y'all was saying, ban Kanye West, fuck Ice Cube, fuck all that. Y'all the one was going bad. You know what I'm saying? Weed is not legal in Texas. That's what I'm trying to get y'all to understand, man. You feel my pain? And this is a Republican state. This is a Republican state. And y'all want me to vote Republican and you see me smoking weed right now. I'm voting for what makes sense for me, not for what makes sense for you. If you too caught up in it, you don't fuck with people because of who they vote for, listen. I don't care about no fucking followers either. What the fuck is a follower? I don't get paid from this shit. This shit is just get me in trouble more than give me when some money. Say you're lose yeah, you can see how many you got. I don't know this nigga. I man. don't give a damn about none of this shit. I told you about my 13 Rolls Royce, bro. I was on, around when it was just phone numbers, kid. Like, I don't care about hurting people's feelings. I just care about being myself. And if you can't fuck with me because of how I am, then that's on you as a slow person to be mad at somebody. You shouldn't even want everybody to think like you. You should be like, you should want to see different opinions and just to have a, a conversation. Like, I don't be mad at no MAGA person. I want to sit down with you and have a conversation. Let's go back and forth, come up with some good points, and, and then let me come up with the point. Well, I ain't, even, I ain't even fighting her race. I just want to hit the points and see who really is talking the best shit. 
But the thing is, I just don't, that, that one person, I don't agree with him. <coughs> if it was any other republic, even if George Bush was up there, I, and I, I don't know how crazy, I would at least look at him like a real politician, like this real politician DNA right here. You know what I'm saying? I can't take this dude serious, man. I can't do it. And I don't think nobody else do, man, out the country. So, you know, that's just how I feel about it. If you got some good points, talk y'all points. I'm not hating on y'all. I don't want to shoot your house up if you like Trump. I don't care. I'm trolling on the weed post I did say make America great. I like pissing y'all off because y'all so caught up in the matrix of y'all Crips and Bloods, white people. Not just, I always pick on white folks. I old people, but you know, I just like to pick on white folks because it's, you know, it's y'all country. Anyway, y'all be turning into Crips and Bloods around election time. It get crazy. Yeah, y'all think black people so ignorant, but y'all be ready to get, shoot a nigga, can, uh, cancel him. Y'all ran into the fucking, what was that? The building on January 6th because of this shit. Y'all too caught up in the matrix. The president ain't never did nothing for us that important. You a gangbanger, and you ain't even know it. You a gangbanger. Trump giving prostitution right? <laughs> yeah, <I'm> stupid. <laughs> right, say something that I like, and I say, okay, yeah, he 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 ain't with that one. That was real. You know what I'm saying? He ain't saying nothing I like. He act like he don't give a fuck about us for the most part. There is power in numbers. We so it's like you know, I'm not you know looking at him like somebody I you know. But at the end of the day, man, like I say, man, everybody snap out of it, man. Snap out of it. You done argue with people. You done unfollow with folks. You have, let me break it down to you as the message of the day. If you that caught up into an election where you mad at people, you too caught up in the matrix, kid, it's not that important. Tell me one time have you really seen a president be elected and your life drastically change? It doesn't happen, bro. It will happen more on a local level than it will happen on a presidential level. So to have you fighting with your neighbors over a fucking president who ain't gonna do shit on either side for us, really, you know what I'm saying? For the most part, you know what I'm saying? Cause if the, cause no matter what either one of them say, if the state don't agree, they gonna block that shit out. Like how the fuck is Cali smoking weed, everybody else smoking weed, but we ain't. So at the end of the day, snap out the, what's up boss? Snap out the matrix, man. It's never that serious. It really ain't that serious. It really ain't that serious, man. But really what you need to do though, is evaluate, just really like, look up, look up both sides. Just give it a chance. Get out your feelings, man. You know how I know you in your feelings? Cause you calling names. You like, I don't like that bitch. I don't like that. You know, if you if you calling names, you in your feelings. That's not like thinking. Don't be emotional and let your emotions lead you. That's really like woman shit. So learn how to think and just evaluate and keep it real. Like live in a real space. Like stay, they, you not on no team. You not in none of these gangs. You in your own gang, right? And they trying to both recruit you. See who the fuck on this side saying. Just see what this gang offering you. See what that gang offering you. Whoever got the best offer, you go fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? You go fuck with them. But don't ever let feelings control your moves or make you mad. No, it's not. It's not that important, man. And that's what you got to learn to do. Take the emotions out of all that shit, man. Take the emotions out of this. Just see both sides. And once you look at it, like if she really ain't got shit going, I say, yeah, man, that shit, you know. Facts, though. Come with the paperwork. This stops all the arguing and shit. Just show the paperwork and quit looking on YouTube. I only go with factual sources. That's guaranteed to be factual sources. YouTube ain't it. YouTube is a lie about everything and can get away with it. Go with factual sources. See what both sides talking about. Pick what side represents your family the best. And do it in that private booth. Do it in that private booth. You know what I'm saying? Yo, it don't even make sense to argue, cause look, what if I'm what if what Trump do benefits your life? You getting a certain type of bread where he gonna have your taxes right? 
You should vote for Trump if he gonna get your shit right. You, yeah, of course. Whatever makes sense to you, you should vote for. It shouldn't be a feelings thing. It should be a a, a thinking thing. Like, oh, if she did that, she, her, she gonna do this and it's gonna, you know. So at the end of the day, I'm not gonna vote for her because that wouldn't be good for me and my family. Cool. Cool. It only makes sense. You shouldn't vote for nobody who ain't gonna represent your family and the things they need to do. It ain't about arguing, man. Ain't no, it ain't about trying to scare the other party. Don't vote with me, don't do that. No, just make your vote. You go do your vote and you figure out whatever's best for you. It's a personal, politics are personal. It's a personal thing. I can't be mad about at you for representing what you think, you know, whoever gonna represent you, right? And that's it. You know what I'm saying? Quit letting these people put you in a gang out here. You looking crazy. You on here cussing people out and follow. You look like a maniac. You know what I'm saying? Nah, you say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cussing, calling the woman out their name, calling him out his name. You know, you look like the maniac out here doing all that. It ain't even, you tripping, kid. You in it, you too caught up in it. There you go. Yeah. It's a, like picking a lawyer, right? What represents your case, right, kid? That's it. Yeah, I'm not gonna, you can vote for whatever the fuck you want. Pass the weed, nigga. You can have a MAGA shirt on. I don't give a fuck. Is that what, uh, is that what, uh, rep you think it's gonna be right? Go ahead. I don't give a damn. It don't matter to me. You know what I'm saying? But that, hey, my ain't, hey, I ain't, I ain't pooch on here. But yeah, it's straight like that, though. People get too caught up in it. Family be arguing, everybody be arguing over this shit. Hey man, that's the 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 worst thing. And I'm gonna tell you, smart people hate emotional people. You know what I'm saying? Smart people can't stand people who can't actually have a conversation with them. You got to get riled up. Oh, fuck that motherfucker. Fuck that bitch. Fuck that. It's not. Come on, man. Let's just talk facts. Let's not ins insult each other. Let's just talk facts. And then whatever represent. You might have a good point that I ain't even know too. How I'ma hear that if you insulting? Once you call the people out they name, <coughs> I don't, the conversation is over. Cause Neil I don't I, agree to disagree. It's like, bro, you are, you you too little, lower level to even talk to. But if you came with some, hey man, like man, you know what Trump did this and show show me something I ain't know. I say, damn, for real, no shit. That's right, man. That might be, and that's how you get a conversation going. That's how you get your point across. That's how you get motherfuckers to understand what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? But to just be out. Call them motherfuckers out their name because they want to vote for somebody else. Like, yeah, but but to say I'm crazy for voting for a black person, you sound crazy. It's only been three opportunities to vote for a black person, so I have to as a black to me personally. Now, if you don't feel like this, cool. I'm not trying to make you get a dab from uh, MLK in heaven. I'm not tripping if you ain't got to see him at uh, uh, Malcolm X. Cool. I'm on some different stuff, bro. Like, you know, like, and I'm just a different type of power. I watch too many movies and shit. I seen too much shit happen. So I'm gonna do that so I can sleep good at night. And if she fuck it up, fuck it up. I'm gonna say shit, we gave her that chance. We gave not only a, a black woman, but a woman. We gave the women the chance. Shit, they fucked it up, you know. Cool. You know, but I'd rather try that than try the dude again. Cause the dude just ain't do it for me. And that's just what I say as a person. If you feel different, you had a great life when that was he was around, vote for him. Do your thing. You know what I'm saying? Do your thing. I ain't trying to stop you or make you vote like I vote. That's See, that's how you know I don't work. And look at him, clown. That's how you know people slow. Wow. You know what I'm saying? You sound stupid as fuck, Slim. You ain't even got a picture of yourself up, Eduardo. That's how I know I don't even want to hear your opinion. That's how I know how much of a low life you is. You scared to show how you look. So I know I don't even want to talk to you, kid. That's how low your confidence is. You ain't even got a picture of yourself talking shit. So that, if we was at in public, you wouldn't even say nothing to me because you that much of a sucker. You that much of a, you ain't even no real person. You a fake page. You know what I'm saying? So I don't care about nobody opinion who ain't even got a picture of themselves. You see how I excite the people? You see what I'm saying? Like, you can't even talk to me, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like. You ain't got a picture of yourself. You know you ugly. You know you ain't ready to talk to Big Slim in real life and walk up to a millionaire with that energy. Now, you know you only can say shit like this on the internet. You would never walk up to me six foot six tall and say anything disrespectful. Exactly. Because I slapped the pie at your ass. Why? 
Oh, look, we got a little new. Hey, we got a little, got a little commercial break coming through. You know what I'm saying? What are we doing break at 7 dance class. Dance class? I got a break dance class. Uh, What's going to come run with me and Rizzo at 7? <laughs> hey, you know what? I might be out there for real. To where? Herman Park. Herman Park yeah. at yeah, 7? Yeah, I might come out there. Y'all do a little run group? He said he going to follow you. All right. Tell them, them let me know. I might okay. do that. All right, bet. I'm just on Thug and News, just talking shit. Yeah, tell hey them what's up. Hey. Yeah, you know. All right, have a good one. Sorry, my bad. I've been clutching, talking like a Yeah, man. But yeah, man. Straight up like that. This is how you have to control your peace, people. This is how you have to control your peace. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, even if she ain't black, I'm still going to vote for a woman president. So st take the black out of it. I'm going to vote for the women. I think women deserve a chance at this time. Women are the men right now. They run the world. Y'all dudes, y'all act like girls now to me to og you dudes act like girls now y'all do a lot of whining a lot of uh, in your feelings like i'm talking about it be dudes y'all on here complaining and, act, and they feeling the women way making way more money than y'all nowadays they way more stiff than y'all i'd rather give the women a chance y'all be on that old feelings you know so even if she ain't black i'm gonna still get a woman a chance over the over the dude you know that's my personal opinion though so it's not all about race. I'm just making it clear to the black women. Hey, man, all the black women in my life who, who been behind me, who helped me in my life, I want to make it clear. This ain't got nothing to do with Kamala, really. It's just black women. I'm going to vote for the black woman. Strictly out for all the stuff black women did for me in my life. If you ain't got no black women in your life, you don't feel like me, probably. But I didn't deal with a lot of black women. I love black women. I want to see a black woman touch the highest pedestal in the, in the country. So daughters and nieces and everybody, young black girls around the world can feel like they can make it to that level. They need to see it happen to believe it. You know what I'm saying? I'm voting on that. This is me personally. You ain't me, so you shouldn't think like I think. You know what I'm saying? That make no sense to you because you ain't black, Joe can too. Cool. Vote for who you want to vote for, though. Damn, I ain't no What's that? I seen that. I seen it. Nah, that's the coolest shit. Uh, that's crazy. But, yeah. That's how I feel. But, and I want it to be, the reason why, it, it ain't on, it ain't on to, it ain't to, um, uh, to really just join no side. I ain't in nobody gang. I'm making that clear. And I'm telling y'all to vote whoever you want to vote for. So I'm not trying to make nobody think like me or nothing. But as a black man, I want it to go on record. I want it to publicly be known. Hey, man, black women, I'm behind y'all on this. I'm behind y'all. I'm voting for you. I'm standing up with y'all on this one. Straight up. Just put that on my progress report. That's all I want. You know how many girls I'm gonna get out of this and everything? I'm just letting them know I stay real, and that's it. I don't really care about the, the president, but I know when I, it's my time to support, I'm gonna support them, and straight up like that, and that's it. I don't care what nobody else say, think mad. Yeah, it's, our, it's my chance to support the black woman, I'm gonna take that chance. Everything else on y'all, y'all do whatever y'all wanna do, but this is what I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? You know, and that's what it is. I'm voting for her because she legalized one reason. Because she black. Because it's a woman. That's the three reasons I got. Trump ain't gave me shit. He ain't said nothing that I want to hear. Honestly, I probably save on taxes if Trump is the president. But I can't vote for myself. That'd be selfish. I got to vote for the people who put me here. You know what I'm saying? How I get here. I got to vote for the people who put me here or shit. I might end up back down, you know, whatever. So at the end of the day, it is what it is, man. I'm not mad at nothing, you know, but everybody do you. That's why the next one broke down here. Yeah, so that's what that is, though. But uh, if you uh, mad at me, you got to understand, man. Think about your mom and daddy. I'm 44. I'm their age. I just look cool. You know what I'm saying? 
I'm not here to impress people, man. Look at me. I don't give a fuck. I ain't do it look like I give a fuck. I'm not on this bitch giving a fuck. I'm on here being myself, man. When you be able to live in your skin, appreciate that, Zen Dog. Let's smoke one, kid. Good luck on whatever you vote for and all that. That's what I'm saying. You ain't got to agree with me, but we can still be cool. Like, that's what. And then you're a real person at that point. You a real, you're not a psycho. When you can say, man, I totally disagree with everything you're saying, bro, but, you know, do you, I'm going to do me. Yeah, pass the weed, kid. Real, this is what the world is supposed to be. It's the world, it ain't no tug of war. It ain't no tug of war. I'm not on here to change your mind, kid. It might, whatever you doing might make sense to you, kid. Bet. Hit the weed, bro. Let's go. Let's, what else we talking about? God bless you. Still got love for you. Still want you to be successful. Hope everything work out either way it go. Whoever win. You know what I'm saying? Straight up like that. And that's how you gotta be. Let's snap out of the dumb shit, man. Let's snap out of the fighting, man. Let's snap out of the letting them make us crips and bloods. That's what I don't like, man. It be friends, it be family, it be don't let them people put you in no gangs, man. Have you on here banging with no pay. You on here banging on me. I'm your homeboy, a rapper. You, uh, you banging on me because we think it different. Don't let them people have us banging on each other, kid. It ain't that important. Vote for whoever you think is right. Straight up like that. Whatever make the most sense to you. You got that little cubicle. Do your thing, kid. Straight up like that. Man, this little cold front. What we think about that cold front, Houston? What you think about that cold front, Houston? I'm loving it, man. Hey, man. Let me tell y'all something, man. Hey. You can work. You, here you go, bro. I'm going to be gossiping. You can work your ass out, man. You can work your ass out every single day, man. I'm telling you. Listen to me, man. I'm 44 and I'm on my 13th Rolls Royce. <laughs> <laughs> I need to have a show yeah, called 13. I don't 13 even know how many Rolls Royces I had. It just sounds good to say 13. Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere in that area. You know what I'm saying? I like to say that shit. But anyway. Damn, I forgot what I was gonna say. I was gonna you that, 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 that. that nigga be in court in front of the judge talking about. I forgot about, what I was gonna so say. So why did you kill those people? Yeah, yeah man, I got thirteen wrong I, I think I'm smarter than you, and I think right. you're supposed to kill people. Right. It'll change your life, man. Oh, yeah, I was talking about this. Okay, okay, okay. I got 13 year old rushes, man. Two plus two. Man. It's four. Listen, man. Nah, it's six. I got 13 year old rushes. All right, y'all right. wrong. Exactly. I use this shit in the studio. Uh, this is a, I use the universal. Hey, man, nigga in the studio, propane be like, no, nah, nigga. My verse first. I say, nigga, I got, I got 13 Rolls Royce. What the fuck you mean your verse go first? You got to throw your weight around wherever you need to throw it around. Like, you know what I'm saying? Listen to me. So, I do that often. This nigga is not But nine. that's my way of um, praising God. Let's say that. That's my way of praising God. I like to look at myself as an example of God's son. From a hood standpoint, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't gonna scare you away with all the big words. And the, I don't even know the Bible like that, keeping it real. I'm just tapped in directly with God. You can run, there's niggas sitting here and run that whole Bible by me. I don't know what the hell they talking about, keeping it real, kid. But I do have a personal relationship with God, man, over the years. And I saw that I at a young age. At a young age, I was like 14 years old when I went to church by myself. And I think this is what changed my life. Because at a young age, I had sought it out by myself. And what y'all really don't understand and ain't gonna believe, if you look at Slim Thug, you looking at Joel Osteen. Joel Osteen always smiling, being positive. Slim thug, always smiling, being positive. Why am I like this? Joel Osteen. I've been going to ch his church before his, he was even there. His daddy was preaching. He was on the cameras. Joel Osteen Church, Lakewood, if you look it up, was on the north side, over there by Homestead. All right, I'm going to tell you the story how I found Joel Osteen or how I found Lakewood Church. Okay. 
So I used to a first church I just duck out to. I went to my sister them church and it was Baptist. First, I'm gonna tell you how what happened for real. I'm really born Catholic, right? So I would go to church with my mama. I would go to church with grandma, or whatever. St. Gregory. And I'd be in there, man, this dude got an accent, man. That's why I didn't learn nothing. I was in church only to say, oh, yeah, I was at church today. To get credit, like, I went to church on Sunday. I would learn not a thing. I would not understand not one word this man said. You know what I'm saying? I broke away from that. I went to Baptist church, and, and the music had me damn near crying. The Baptist music, it was so touching. The how lit it was in there, and I could clearly understand everything the man was saying. It was good, man. I could clear it changed my life at that age. I'm like, damn, this shit lit. So this nigga man, is the biggest hater. Yeah. So I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. I love that church, right? But my my, I think my um, sister was going there. She left. And then I kept trying to go a little bit, but they started doing them four-hour sermons. I was like, God damn, Lord. It was like the four-hour ones. You had to beat up from, you know what I'm saying? They don't let you go. Yeah, you hungry. got hungry in that mug. So I had kind of broke away from him. That was off of, uh, I think that was like our wayside, a little Baptist church our wayside. Joe was right down the street. His daddy was there. It was an hour. Church an hour, nigga. His daddy say, Work in his his uh his daddy say keep it short and sweet and they gonna come next week so that was his method so that's how they got me into that church our service I was like bet that sound good they get, they get up there and tell you hey man you know you're doing wrong don't pay attention to that I knew a guy that once went through that yeah <laughs> Home nah. did that so hopefully you yeah. have to go so that. <laughs> when I went there, it, so I went there at first, and then you got to hear the choir. You're like, ah, oh, this shit ain't it. Oh, my bro hit me up. You hear the choir, you be like, man, this choir ain't all that lit at Lakewood. It ain't like the Baptist church. It ain't lit. You shaking your ass, OG? Damn. She said, what y'all know what that said? I said, I'm teaching, I said, I'm teaching hip hop break dance class. She told me. She told me. Yeah, so. I woke up, she trying to make a nigga so, start new shit. I started going there for the hour service and the positivity that was in it, it, it changed my life. I'm telling my testimony, Rizzo. Bro, I'm gonna be paying it. It changed I, my I life. Know, yeah. So yeah, man. I told Walton that too. After adopting his his way of his method of thinking. Cause I got, I got, That's I got, how he keeps a smile on his face all the time. Adopting his his way of thinking. That, that makes me so not give a like, fuck. People yeah, think I don't give a fuck. Them. People always accuse. They think I'm a narcissist. They like, Slim, you don't give a fuck about shit. I don't. It ain't that I don't give a fuck. I don't live in fear. I live in faith. I believe my. If you listen to Joe, he gonna say your best days ahead of you. I believe that, kid. It has never failed me in my life. Never failed me in my life. Ever since I've been hearing that, I have never. Live where I felt like shit getting worse. You know what I'm saying? So when I uh when I adopted this mindset, it'll change you. It'll take you out of uh as I tell Rizzo, stop talking. Yeah, you gonna get jammed up. Right. Right. Even if and you you heard that, you say you see that? See, that's why I don't wanna go to y'all church. Uh, who was you, Sag? He said that Ferrari got Joe smiling. Hey man, look at this though. I don't, I don't mind my uh, pastor driving. You gotta understand, he from the listen hood like me. my pastor. I listen to him in the morning. He tell me my day how I, I need it. to do my day. Nigga, he the closest man I know that made a billion to million dollars. I ain't trying to church. hear nothing else you niggas saying from church. Joe Osteen. We're gonna start that church. Thug is Joe Osteen to me, nigga. We're gonna start that church, man. Thank you, nigga. Send a hundred dollars. We're gonna start the, the I'm church that's going down. He's with Joe Osteen, Osteen to me, nigga. He's, he's Joe Osteen to me. We're building the ministry. Send a hundred dollars right now, right now, right now. Send a hundred dollars right now, right now, right now, right now. Send a hundred dollars. 
gonna we gonna have the NOI in there too. We ain't gonna just we gonna give them an option. They can go NOI. They can go. You know what I'm saying? We gonna keep it real, Muhammad. We got you. We got you. Yeah. I'm a. I'm not talking about him. I don't talk about nobody. Yeah. And then, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Nah, with people. You go can't to be church, mad at nobody. Churches got people. Somebody ever told you? Give me a little Uzi, boy. Give yeah, me some golf balls. I'm finna get my um, golf ball. Y'all think it's gonna look like Uzi? That nigga looks like Uzi. Nah, nah, nah. My yeah, nigga look like Uzi. Yeah, yeah, come on, yeah, dog. Yeah, he can't walk around his arm. Everybody like Uzi. Everybody run. <laughs> 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 hey, these dope, though, bro. What is that? That's some. What the fuck is that? Oh, golf ball. Y'all think y'all tripping, kids. Yeah, stop playing on me, man. With the glasses on. With the glasses. Come on, man. Look at that. Glasses, watch. You know what I'm saying? I should have drove the Lambo. Damn. I should have drove the Lambo. Let me say the bullshit for you after you say something cool. Say it then. Put say it then. You ain't got to say I'm going to say the bullshit. All right, Muhammad. Have a good one, bro. My nigga Muhammad, man. Yeah, man. Real ones meet in the middle. You don't care about, you don't argue about people's religion. You don't argue about what people vote for. Let people do whatever is best for them and their families. You know what I'm saying? And I that's don't really it. even let niggas do it about girls if, she, if you know, if her attitude is bad. But I hate when niggas be like, oh yeah, such, such, what's not hit? Yeah, that hoe was trash. Hey, right, bro, if he like her. That's what he like. That's what he like. Let him like her. That don't mean she, it's somebody in her DMs, nigga. Why exactly. That shit? Everybody got that somebody. Shit? Bro, that hoe probably got most niggas in her DMs telling her, why you acting like it's a nigga right now saying you acting funny. Right. <laughs> yeah, you acting funny, lady. And let that yeah, girl get but, emotion. but but what I was telling y'all all that for is it's been working so good for me in life, man. Just praying. Like I tell y'all, living in faith, not fear. Every day it's, it's just getting it's the surprises is crazy, bro. The surprises of life is crazy when you tapped in. I'm just trying to tell you. You can work 10,000 hours and do whatever you want to do and be successful. You know what I'm saying? You could be. But at the end of the day, that shortcut, them blessings, them out the blue, 
you can't explain them though. That's the ones you can't explain, kid. And I can't even explain what happened yet, but y'all y'all gonna know in a couple weeks. Remember I told you this, in a couple weeks. Yeah, in a couple weeks. That's the cheat code though. Everybody wanna know the cheat code? The cheat code is God. Straight up like that, man. That's the real cheat code. I'm going to show That's him he's down there. Be there next week on our yeah, next week. Ooh, it's it's like, what's I know that's expensive. Expensive in New York or something? Yeah, you got to manage them correctly, too. And if you for blessings, you got to take care of what you got right now to get more. That's another message I'm going to give you. If you ain't taking, if you can't show you can take care of what you got right now, why would God give you more? Okay, fit That's nice. why I got a garage and that bitch aesthetically together. And, and them hoes stay right, and your house clean. Show me more, God. Let's keep going. Nah, for real. You, can't you know what I'm more. saying? You can't expect more if you can't keep what you clean. What if you, you can't got. keep up with what you got, you can't expect to have more. So you have to appreciate what you got. Appreciate yeah. what you got. Take care of what you got. And show you can maintain what you got. That's or you true. ain't going to get more straight that's up like that. True. It only makes sense. It only really, makes just, sense, bro. Just, you know what I'm saying? He don't lie, but he just together. slapped the fuck out of me with that. You know what I'm like, saying? It don't, that's oh, yeah, why. Yeah. That's yeah, why in the morning, <laughs> in the morning, you even me, at, even I me, one, I have a house and an apartment, nigga. I'm straightening the, the covers up when I get yeah, out of bed. I do that. I do that. For I sure. have my bed made, everything up. My shit look like a hotel when I leave that hoe, nigga, because I gotta show God. I, I thank you for these blessings. I appreciate it. And not only that, I can handle more. Straight up like that. Every day. Yeah. yeah, and if you notice, that's the people who I always end up getting the most. The people who keep motherfucker who can't keep their Hyundai clean. It look like why are you in that motherfucker? Because you don't give a fuck. If you don't give a fuck, how you gonna expect to have nice shit? It won't, why it even matter to have nice shit if you ain't gonna take care of it? You know what I'm saying? You ain't, some people just rough than the motherfucker. Don't take care of shit. Dirty than the motherfucker. You got to be a motherfucker who take care of your shit or you ain't going to have shit. I got shit. I put on some Louis shoes, nigga, from 2008, I think, nigga. Them hoes were damn near probably brand new. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I mean. But at the same time, think about that, even in the drip way. you If you like these Louis, you can't even go buy these, nigga. This from 2008, but I took good care of them so I can bust your head with these hoes. What, uh, motherfucking 16 years later? No, for sure. That's what happens when you take care of shit, though. Shit add up. You know what I'm saying? That's how them cars add up. You, I keep them clean, so shit, I can hop in any one of them and get it washed and be looking good. You know, but if I ain't fixing shit all the time and taking care of shit, maintaining shit, letting it go to waste, then I can't fuck them up like that. You know what I'm saying? So... That's a part well, of being able to... gotta say this too, though. It do cost to maintain a It costs like a motherfucker. It, be... <laughs> it costs like a motherfucker. And sometimes it don't make sense. No, for real. You know, you got to check yourself often and say, man, I'm doing too much. I be having to even do that. I want to do more than what I'm doing. I be having to tell myself, nah, you're doing too much. No, for real. You know what I'm saying? You have to be able to... That's called discipline. You know what I'm saying? That's called discipline. got to make the right... like. Maintain stuff or make the right moves for it to be maintained. That's that's oh, I'm speaking to myself while talking actually like at the same time. Like yeah. boom, nigga be trying to maintain shit, but certain shit causing you can't it maintain costs. that bitch right now. So you gotta you got See, gotta, see, that's what I'm gonna tell y'all too as an old nigga with a wizard beard. <laughs> the smartest thing to do in life is live a free life, bro. <laughs> do not overwhelm yourself. Oh, for real. Do some shit that don't matter. Like, you know, do get a car note that ain't gonna fuck you up. You really don't have to go to work too much to pay that hoe. No, you know what I'm saying? Get an apartment that's a breeze. You know what I'm saying? Cause hard times show up out of nowhere. Life nigga. be life. You know, not only the car note, uh, fucking service came out the blue. And nigga getting the bad days is uh, normal out here. No, you know what I'm saying? So inflation, all that shit. The key to being happy in, in life is not having to stress out about, damn, am I going to pay my bills? Can I afford to do this? Can I pay this? No. Keep that shit light where you can knock this shit out and still live your life and have enough time and freedom to live life. Because it ain't, you ain't living to pay bills and, you know, and chase you money. Can, it's know, just, it's yeah. about, you got to be able to do the five steps of life. You got to be able to take care of yourself, work out here at the gym, park. Fucking spend some time with your family, 
uh, you know, uh, get something good to eat, do some shit like that, like, you know, like work, whatever that is, dream a little, do your dream on the side, have a hobby, video game, work on cars, you gotta live, you gotta have a complete life, you can't just be out here grinding all the motherfucking time, you know what I'm saying, you gotta balance all this shit out, kid. And that's the only way you're going to have a peaceful, happy life. And you can be in the hood and live a happy life. Right now, wherever level you at, you can live an unstressful life. Niggas be trying to not barely make this type of money and want to go get this expensive-ass place to stay, this expensive-ass car, expensive-ass insurance. On your live if you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Niggas put themselves in situations that make it, give them headaches. That give them headaches. You know what I'm saying? Fuck them headaches, man. Live a free life where you can have freedom. Say, man, I'm going to go chill, go do this. You know what I'm saying? I'm proud to say. I'm proud to tell y'all. And I tell niggas this all the time, man. I told y'all this the other day. It's all about having a race and having your own pace in this world. Take yourself out the race. Having your own pace, be it in your own world. You are not with the people around you. It's just you and it's your world. The world is yours, Scarface. You the only motherfucker on your planet. You responsible for you. You have to protect you. You have to feed you. You have to make sure you doing your shit. It's all on you. Take full responsibility of self. And mash, man. Do whatever you want to do in life. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to try to get a million dollars. You might just want to have a family, and that might not be. You probably can't. If you know you ain't no mathematic ass nigga, like it might not be made for you to have a lot of money. You might be a good person on the team to do something. You know what I'm saying? That might not be your strong point. Ain't nothing wrong with getting with a group. And my bad, I'm holding them up. Getting with somebody who makes sense, who you know good with them numbers, and being something that they ain't. You know what I'm saying? Find your way wherever you belong. <laughs> My ain't said I need a podcast. They only gonna post the crazy shit, ain't it? They only gonna try to embarrass me in front of the family. They be picking out the crazy shit. I say they don't post the positive shit, never. I, I always talk like this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But hey, man. <coughs> Real life. <coughs> Live in faith, not fear. Like, don't be living like you scared of nothing. I'm scared of this person leaving me. I'm scared of this happening, man. Living. You got to tap in with God first or your shit really might crumble. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm speaking from a man's standpoint who tapped in. So, my life as I lived has never failed me, kid. Like, it just keep getting better. I'm 44 and be doing the most craziest shit. They got me performing at halftime at the Texan Stadium. Last night and the night before was some of the greatest nights of my life. Kid, it just keep getting better out the blue, though. Out the blue. So, I call that a blessing, you know what I'm saying? That's why I'm telling y'all, tap in, kid, if you ain't tap in. But yeah, but... Man, Camilla better stop texting me. Who texting you? Camilla. Kamala. Kamala. She running that campaign. I've been seeing it everywhere. Commercials. She got that budget. You better stop texting me, girl. They definitely doing that campaign. I seen that. I'm about to text her back. Yeah, I heard she got a bankroll to do it, too. So they're going to be everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Don't be breaking up no relationships behind no voting, man. We're going to put you on the short bus for that, though. If you out here breaking up friendships and shit because of how people vote, are mad at people because of how they vote. We're going to have to put you on that short bus. Go get on that. Like we said, that check the other day. Y'all get y'all check. Get your ass on that short bus. Get your ass on that short bus, boy. Go ahead and get on that short bus. All right. Everybody got the right to do whatever the fuck they want to do. We're going to hit this park away, kid. Uh, I'm about to drive that way if I get out of the freeway. Cause I'm you bullshit, no you bullshit. You sound like you bullshit, kid. Shit, you bullshit. Huh? What the fuck that mean? You ain't got shit else to do but take care of yourself. Yeah. You the fattest. So who got a, who who's supposed to be there the most? The worst. You not the fattest. 
<laughs> you about to throw somebody under the bus. I'm not going to say I'm not going to shoot no shirts. I'm not going to shoot no shirts. You need it the most. I need it, though. So, sure. yeah. You gonna... Yeah, you know what's crazy? How y'all I'm going to go then. I'm going to go. I'm going to just go. go. No, yeah. Just you ain't got to go, my nigga. I love how y'all talk You ain't got to go? Me. No. I'm going to go. Don't I'm worry not, about it. No, I'm going to no, go. Me and Junior going to hit the hoe. Me and my son going to hit the hoe. You, you know ain't got to go. I love the energy. I yeah. love the, man, if, even if I wasn't going to go, let me see if I can push this money back to go run the park. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm try, I'm willing to do it that hard because of the way we yeah. talk to each other. Yeah. That's what keep a nigga going. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Exactly. I need, I ain't going to see him. Yeah. See, I ain't, you know what I mean? You ain't got to go for I'm 44, 13 Rolls Royce. I Royces. never got to think about it. You know what's crazy? Still I ain't going. never got to go, but who be there every day with you? Yeah, you've been going. You've been going, and that shows strength right there, kid. I'm here for you to talk shit to. You're right. That's how I feel. You're right. I'm here for you to talk shit. A lot of people ain't here, so I really respect you on that. I'm gonna give you a card on that. You deserve that. I know what I need to work on. I appreciate it. I like it. I love the energy. I love it. They say, "Get to the park, Turtle." They still remember your nickname. Turtle, my boy Turtle. They remember your nickname. That's day one coat. You know what I'm talking about? Day one coat. Day one coat right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Am I ready to give up my guns, bro? I'm not. The lady said she got guns and she'll uh, shoot somebody who coming out. Stop with the conspiracy theory, bro. Wait, what um, Camilla saying about guns? We going to keep our guns. She ain't guns saying nothing about no guns. She said she if somebody ran in the house, she going to shoot them. So, you know, that's what they trying to. That's like the how she got the commercial. That's their commercial. She going to take your guns. And my boy, everybody, a lot of my partners, like, and my, my real partners, oh, they with it. Like, black dudes, they really don't fuck with it. Like, they like, on that strength of, she ain't finna take my guns, and they be talking about the, the gay stuff and all that. But, what she say about the gay stuff? You know, they just see how Cali go. They think that all the kids gonna be transgenders and shit. They be like, what the fuck? I be like, bro, that's some shit I ain't think about. Yeah. Yeah, go get up. Gray, doesn't they? You went to the gay parade? Nah, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I, was at the I was at the 10 shoe parade, nigga. I didn't realize how many high You was at the what parade? At the 10 shoe parade. Oh, high school boy, coming out the closet on Thugger, dude. Got major ritz. And I was like, you was a what? That was wild. That was wild. You went to the gay parade. Uh, hey, do you, man. More girls for me, man. I ain't mad at you, kid. Uh, uh, More uh, girls uh, for me, G. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Go on, do your thing, man. Uh, okay. No hate. Uh, you still on thugging news? Now they gonna like me. They gonna. It's, you get psychotic with blunts. Smoking weed is like smoking hookah, like smoking uh, a cigarette, smoking a cigar. You don't ever lose your mind smoking weed. It's not alcohol. And that's what I'm trying to tell y'all how y'all program. Only because alcohol is legal, you think alcohol is a better choice than weed. When really weed don't give you no calories, don't have you out of your mind. You always level headed. You just gonna at the most go to sleep. And not at a red light, kid. It's the safest drug you can do. You know what I'm saying? So don't get caught up in the matrix, kid. Just cause the shit in the store don't mean it's safer. This shit's safer. And that's why I say I'm voting for the lady, cause she gonna give me the safe shit. After they legalize weed, I'm never a criminal in life. This is the only thing I do. I never have an issue in life. You know what I'm saying? It's over. So I'm voting for me to be all the way 100. Hey, Dad, I'm going to fill up my water bottle. All right. Yeah, this bitch about to cut off, though, man. 
y'all have a blessed day either way my um uh, democrats republicans independents people 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 are gathering around everybody have a blessed day I'm finna go get this work in, make sure I stay ahead of y'all so I can get the 14 rolls worse before you get your verse. up this music like crack rock distribution from the booth to the black top i'm like nino brown on the black top i could flip a hundred pounds and some crack rocks i ain't talking about dope this is rap talk i'll be hustling coast to coast on the black top had to get it out the mud and the asphalt running off on the plug that's a bad thought if you want the whole thing i could whip it up drink wrap it in plastic and seal it up i can even bust it down from a cd Break you off a couple singles or an EP You can meet me at the spot around high noon Get it off the SoundCloud and the iTunes I got eights and sixteen slide through I whip up that crack music you can ride to I be whipping up this music like crack rock Cook it up and distribute it to the black top Got the stereo booming like a crack spot I can move a quarter chicken on a laptop I be whipping up this music like crack rock Cook it up and distribute it to the black top Got the stereo booming like a crack spot I can move a quarter chicken on a laptop Like Stone Cold, I got the game in the chokehold I be running through them things by the boatload Had to lace the beat up with a dope flow I got the streets going cuckoo for the cocoa You can bang this in your coupe or your photo Turn it up when you cruising in your low low I whip it up for the hustlers on the go though Could give a fuck about these suckers or the popo I keep a low pro creeping on the solo The white boy is fucking with me down in low though I keep the 44 watching for the hokey dope I gave a product for the watch and the donkey rope Every time I drop they say it knocked for Shelly though My Asian partners got it popping out in Tokyo Worldwide distribution got it mapped out I'm in the south pushing music in the trap house I be whipping up this music like crack rock Cook it up and distribute it to the black top Got the stereo booming like a crack spot I can move a quarter chicken on a laptop I be whipping up this music like crack rock Cook it up and distribute it to the black top Got your stereo booming like a crack spot I can move a quarter chicken on a laptop 